I started out in a 14 foot skiff catching mullet. That was the first thing I ever did. I had a little mullet boat when I was, I was 14, the boat was 14 foot long. And I was catching mullet, uh, getting it for a sword fisherman for longline bait. And really enjoyed it, didn't make much money. But uh, when you're 14 years old, you don't need much money. As long as you paid for the gas and paid for a sandwich that day, you were happy. Uh, it kept me out of trouble when I was little. And I wish that fishery was there so I could take my kids. That's hurts the most. I would say 30 years ago there were probably twice as many fishermen and five to ten times as many fish houses in the Keys. Well, there's a lot more problems nowadays. Uh, not so much with fish populations. The scientists say the fish are pretty healthy, at least in our area. I don't, can't speak for other parts of the world, but our fish stocks are pretty healthy. And uh, regulations don't take into account things like uh, land use and economics when they regulate fisheries of, of actual making a living with the money that is needs to be made to maintain your business. Basically in the Florida Keys, most people are multi-species fishermen. Uh, you don't just have a, a lobster fishing fisherman, for instance, you, or a stone crabber. They fish for just about everything they can. Uh, our season usually starts in August. That's when we put our lobster traps out. That's probably our main industry in the Keys. And in October, I put out some crab traps and I, I fish lobster and stone crab at the same time. And then bring it, I bring all my lobster traps in in December. Although the season doesn't end till March, I choose not to fish for that. You know, the last three months of the year, I go gill net and uh, hand lining kingfish and, and mackerel. It's not a job, it's a way of life. The hours are long, the work's hard, and you're not gonna get rich. You gotta do it because that's what you wanna do. All of us wanna be here tomorrow. The biggest misconception is that we wanna kill everything. That's just not true. We want everything to be healthy, as long as I'm not doing some terrible, you know, damage to the environment, let me go catch the fish. There's more and more people in this world every minute. What are we going to do? How are they going to be fed? I want to help feed them. Tell me how much fish I can catch and let me go catch them and leave me alone. And don't shortchange me. If I'm allowed to catch 100 pounds, let me go catch 100 pounds. Don't let me go catch 99 because some environmental group told you they only want 99 caught. Let the scientists tell me how much can be caught and then let me go catch him.